Now, former Free State Economic Development MEC, Kholisi uh, Dukwana, declared, detailed rather the nature of the relationship with the ANC Secretary General and former Premier Esma Khashule, allegedly has with the controversial Gupta family. Earlier, Dukwana told the Commission of Inquiry into state capture in Parktown in Johannesburg that the Guptas were paying Mahashule and Duduzana Zuma one million rand per month each. Tony Gupta made the revelation whilst he was uh, trying to convince him to sign a letter which would have appointed a Gupta-affiliated company to handle two major development contracts in the Free State. According to Dugwana, Mahashule took him to the Gupta family's Saxon World compound under the pretext that they were attending a fundraising dinner for the ANC. You are saying we will give you this amount of money uh, for this uh, project, we'll give you two million, and uh, upon signing, you'll get two million immediately, and two million for the duration of the con of the contract, uh, and that will be a monthly payment to me, and that uh, that will go to you, and uh, and because together with uh, Mr. Mahashule, with uh, Ace, my brother Ace Mahashule. We will then uh, not involve him here. And then he tried to, when he said that, he gave me the letter again to sign. But when I refused, he said, you know, uh, I'm trustworthy. You, you can trust me. Ask, uh, ask uh, uh, Brother Ace, ask Brother Duduzan. We get three million every month. I give them, I drive after every month after getting the money. I drive the, uh, to, Mr., uh, to uh, Ace Mahashule's place. And I give him his million. And I give uh, Duduzani his million. And I get my million. And, uh, and then he then said, isn't it so? And uh, strangely enough, uh, he said, yes, it's, you know, and Duduzani agreed. And I looked at them at the time, I was like, this man does not know me. He's now uh, giving me this information and uh, about the people that he's working with. And then uh, he then continued trying to insist that I, I get this. I sign this and I'll get this money. Let me just uh, ask this. <laughs> uh, did Mr. Tony Gupta say, from what you are saying, if you sign this letter, you will get two million rand immediately. Yes. And thereafter, you will get two million rand per month. Is that so? It is so. Until when? The duration of the contract. For the duration, for the whole duration of the contract. The contract, uh, the, yes. the, the, the whole project could yes. have lasted for more than 10 years. Right, let's uh, cross now to our reporter, Ntlantla uh, Khatli, who's uh, there at the uh, uh, State Capture Inquiry. Uh, Ntlantla, thanks very much for joining us. And uh, tell us, uh, it's been quite a day. Well, good day to you, Peter, in studio. Yes, it's been a hectic day. I mean, concluding his testimony here, uh, former MEC for Economic Development, uh, speaking to the commission and testifying, talking about his relationship, uh, his visit to the Gupta families, and the relationship after speaking about how he was fired, telling the commission that he was fired through the phone. And he said, earlier he told the commission that um, uh, he recalls a time whereby he was tricked by uh, the former premier of Free State is Mahashula into coming to or visiting the Gupta's residence in Saxon World, uh, saying that amongst the things that were discussed, there was a bribe that he would be offered 20 million after signing or authorizing a contract. And after that, uh, monthly he would be paid 2 million rand uh, throughout the uh, duration of the contract, which would have lasted um, uh, for about more than 10 years. So uh, is he done for the day? Is he coming back or he's finished his testimony? 
Yes, today he has finished his testimony. Today he will be called again, but it's not next week. You know that next week on Monday, um, the commission will hear from uh, the law enforcement agencies, the testimony from uh, people that deal with uh, law enforcement. And just to add, Peter, earlier that uh, amongst the things that he said, which was very interesting, was that he told the commission that there was a time in 2014, you know, after going and declining to sign um, the, the contract that would have authorized, uh, a letter that would have authorized for a contract. He told the commission that uh, he met Tony Gupta uh, in, uh, here in Joe Beck, saying that he drove from um, Free State, and you know, um, that's when he also received uh, 10,000, uh, saying that uh, the reason why he wanted to. To, to meet Gupta was to understand or to try to figure out what was happening and what led to him being fired. And he complained about uh, getting access to records that would support the stories that, uh, or the, the uh, allegations that he was putting before the commission. Yes, remember, Peter, this is not the first time. I mean, earlier last week, uh, his legal representative uh, stood in front here and told the commission that they were struggling to get information that was very um, important to them in terms of what they would have presented here, saying that amongst those uh, uh, documents or in, uh, information was the diary uh, <coughs> of uh, the former MEC that, you know, would have spoken about, you know, uh, the meeting that he arranged and also the cell phone, the laptop uh, <coughs> that would have helped in terms of the communication that was happening. Um, uh, with, with regards to him and uh, the former Premier and the current SG of the ANC, saying that that information would have helped um, the travelling documents that would have uh, also helped the Commission in terms of verifying what he's saying, saying that there was a time they travelled together from uh, the Free State coming here, that saying that uh, he wanted, or uh, he, he also wrote to the government and asking for, for that particular information. How did he explain uh, a payment that he received? I believe it was something in the order of about 10,000 rand. Yes, uh, like I said earlier, Peter, he said that, you know, um, actually they sort of laughed on it here, saying that, so you refused to sign a letter that would have given you two million, but uh, two years later, you, <laughs> then you received 10 million. He said that, no, the only reason that uh, he took that money was that he knew there was, like, he, they didn't expect anything from him. And when Tony Gupta gave him the money, he said, like, take this as for your petrol. And they also had a brief engagement in terms of how he was doing after him being fired, asking him about... Uh, the family and so forth. So that's when he was given 10,000 just for traveling from, uh, uh, from the free state so that he can pour petrol. All right. Do we know who the next witnesses uh, might be? It's not clear as yet. We just said that this, uh, somebody's going to come from the law enforcement agency on Monday. Okay, Nslantla, we'll leave it there. Thanks very much indeed. That was our reporter there, Nslantla uh, Khatlane, who was uh, reporting from the uh, state capture inquiry in Parktown in Johannesburg.